Hi, this is problem 515, and this is equilibrium of rigid bodies in 3D, and they are asking us to find the support reactions of the bearings, which are short bearings, A, B, and C. Means short bearings that they only restrict the motion perpendicular to their location. So, for example, if I have a short bearing at A, it will restrict the motion in the plane A, X, and C. In the case of B, it will restrict the motion perpendicular to that beam or that pipe in Y and C. And in the case of C, it will restrict the motion in X and Y. Understanding the problem is very important because that will allow us to have the free body diagram correctly. So let's draw our free body diagram. To draw our free body diagram, we have to copy our figure. Let's see if we can do that kind of quickly. I follow the I follow the axis, so we have x axis, y, and c, right? And then we will add, draw our active forces. Our active forces in this case is F in um, 80 newtons. Look at this. This force, we are given the magnitude. This is the magnitude and they give us the angles between the force and the plane. So we can actually write this as a horizontal component. Let me write that as a horizontal component. This is a horizontal component and a vertical component. The horizontal component will be 800 times cosine of 60. This angle is 60 degrees and as you see this is a right triangle and this is the adjacent side of this triangle and the force represents my hypotenuse. So it will be cosine of 60. And then I have the vertical component which is 800 sine of 60. And as you see, the vertical component is parallel to C in the negative direction. So if I put a negative, I can say already that this is the C component of my force, which is sine of 60. We know that is square root of 3 over 2, so that will be equals to negative 400 square root of 3. Okay, so in the case of the horizontal component, we can further decompose that force in the y component and x component over here. This is the x component and this is the y component. As you see, the x component will be my horizontal force, and this is also a right triangle where this here is the hypotenuse. So since this is 30 degrees, I can say that the x component will be the horizontal cosine of 30. Therefore, my x component will be 800 cosine of 60, which is 1 half, cosine of 30, which is square root of 3 over 2. And my y component is this one right here, will be the horizontal times sine of 30. So finally, this will be 800 y co cosine of 60, which is 1 half, sine of 30, which is 1 half. So this will be equal to 200, sorry, 200, I said 200 and wrote 4, 200 square root of 3 and 200. So we were able to decompose that force in its components along the x, y, and c axis. And those are the forces that we can write in our free body diagram. So I have 
Active forces, Fx, Fy, and Fc that we know that is negative, right? Okay, so I have three components that are my, my active forces, and we know that this is 200. If x is 200 square root of 3, if c is negative. But since I already put it in that direction, I, all, I, know I will not write the negative because, I mean, if I put the arrow down, I already took into consideration the negative value. And if y, which is 200. These all are, are in newtons, right? Those are my active forces. My reactive forces are the forces that come from the bearings. So as I said, in bearing A restricts the motion perpendicular to the bar. So the bar is in J and it restricts. So it will have a reaction in AX and a reaction in AC. Restricts the motion perpendicular to the pipe and in the plane x, c. In b, it restricts the motion perpendicular to the bar, which is in x direction. Therefore, I have a reaction in b, y, and a reaction in b, c. And in uh, the bearing at c, it restricts the uh, motion perpendicular to c. So I have a reaction in x, and a reaction in Y. So this is my free body diagram, which is always, as you know, is the first step of any problem. Once I have the free body diagram, I can start doing my equations of equilibrium. So my equations of equilibrium You remember our six equations of equilibrium. Because we are working in 3D. Where are the, the, the three equations, the six equations are adding forces in as a vector that becomes three equations and adding moments respect to one point. It could be this point O, or we can choose any other point to take moment and this is also a question. So this has three equations here and three equations here. So let's start adding forces in my three different uh, 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 directions. So I add forces in x equals to zero. So which forces do we have in x? We have ax and B -A cx. Those are my reactive forces, and then I have an active force right here. And I don't have any other force in x, therefore this is equals to zero. In my y direction, I have a active forces, a reactive forces of a by, cy, and I have 200. And I don't have any other force, therefore this is equal to zero. In C direction, I have my active, uh, reactive forces will be AC, BC, and I have negative, right, 400 square root of 3 equals to zero. So those are my three first equations. So this is first equation, second equation, third equation. I could take moment respect to A, respect to B, respect to C, or respect to O. So let's take moment, for example, respect to O. We can do the scalar approach, or we can do the vector approach. What is very important is that we take into consideration the distance and the force. So if we do adding moments respect to point O, we will have the moment, let's do the moment that these two forces produce. This is distance to in negative j cross 
my force, since it's the same vector, I can use one vector and multiply by the two forces. The two forces will be AX in I plus AC in K. Then I have the moment that the force, the active force produce, uh, the active force does not produce any moment respect to O because it's applied at O, so I don't have any distance. So I continue with the moment produced by the reactions of the bearing at B. So I, the distance will be equals to 1 in negative I cross product my forces in B, which are B, Y, in J, plus B, C, in K. And finally, I have to take the moment of these two forces. So I have 1.75 in I, and 2 in K, cross product, those two forces, Cx in I, Cy in J. And all that will be equals to zero. Now let me do these multiplications. So I have, as you recall, you could do this in matrix. Since the vectors doesn't, don't have that many components, I will do it by distributed multiplication. And as you recall, I, J, K, if I multiply in this direction is positive, and if I multiply in this direction is negative. Therefore, negative 2, J, cross I will give me K, negative. With this negative, we become positive, so it's A in K. This has to, you have to do it very carefully. J cross K is I with this negative becomes negative i plus i cross j is k with this negative become negative k i cross k is negative j with this negative become positive plus here I cross I is zero. I cross J is I cross J is K with this negative become negative. Then K cross I is J. And finally K cross J is negative I. Sorry here I have to be yeah, that's, I have to be very careful. So it's K cross, K cross I is ne negative AI, so it's AI. So, and this is equals to zero. From that, we can actually write our three other equations. So the equation in I will be all the components that are in I. So I have this one over here and this one over here. So my equation in I is negative 2AC, negative 2CY equals to 0. So this is my fourth equation. My fifth equation will be the components in J. So I have the components in J, I have this one right here and this one right here. So that will be BC. 2CX equals to 0. This is the fifth equation. And in K, I will have this one right here, this one right here, and this one right here. So therefore, I have 2AX minus BY minus 1.75 CY equals to C. And this is my sixth equation. I, even though I did the multiplications very carefully, I can always prove 
with my right, right hand rule that I have the correct equation. Okay, perfect. So we have six equations with six unknowns. So I would, you ha how do you solve this system of equations? Well, you have to solve for one variable, plug into the other variables and so on, and solving the system of equation, and I will put here the result. And I have here the results. And these are AX is equal to 400 newtons, A, B, a, B, Y is equal to 600 newtons, CX is equal to 53.6 newtons, AC is equal to 800 newtons, A, B, C is equal to negative 107 newtons, and CY is equal to 800 newtons. And this is the solution of this problem.